To balance this neutralization reaction, let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation, and let's be careful because we have hydrogens here and here, and we have oxygens here and here. So we have one hydrogen plus we have two times the one hydrogen here. So we have three total hydrogens. Chlorines, we have one. Oxygens, we have three plus this two applies to everything in parentheses. Two times the one, that gives us two. So we have five oxygen atoms and just one calcium. On the product side, we have two hydrogens, two times the one chlorine, two chlorines. Oxygens, two times the three is six. Plus, don't forget this one out here. That gives us seven and then one calcium. I like to leave the hydrogens and oxygens till last, so I'm going to balance the chlorines first. And I can do that by putting a 2 in front of the HClO3. So now, it looks like I need to update all these numbers. So I have 1 times 2 for the hydrogen, plus 2 times the 1 here. So I have 4 hydrogen atoms. Chlorines, I have 1 times the 2. That's 2, so those are balanced. Oxygens, 3 times the 2, that's 6. Plus, I have 2 times the 1 here. That's another 2. So I have eight oxygen atoms. Let's fix the hydrogens next, and that might balance the oxygens, because if I have two here and four here, so to get four, I put a coefficient of two in front of the water. Two times two, that's four. So the hydrogens are balanced. Let me update the oxygens next. I have two times three, that's six, plus one times the two, that gives me eight. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So again, the key, be very cautious as you're counting up the oxygens and the hydrogens because you have a number of them on each side. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for HClO3 plus CaOH2. Thanks for watching.